if you've lived in Utah at all for any period of time, and especially if you've lived in Davis County, you know about Lagoon. Lagoon is an amusement park that has been in Utah, I think for over a hundred years, if I remember correctly. And um, it has always been the place that you want to go if you're having a good time. you got to go to Lagoon, right? Well, as a child, you go there and have a great time. So when the time comes that you're old enough that you can work at Lagoon, it's like a no-brainer. Everybody wants to work at Lagoon, right? Well, it's the have fun kind of place. I was like everyone else, and I applied and got a job at Lagoon for the summer. It was uh, a year that I was in high school, and I really needed extra money uh, for some activities that would be coming up and look forward to it. Now, at Lagoon, you can be a ride operator, you can work in foods, or you can be in... Uh, cleanup. The younger you are, you can't work on rides, so you go to food or you go to the park um, cleanup committee or whatever they call it, but I was in rides. And I got assigned to the Scrambler. Now this job seemed absolutely fabulous until it started hitting over 90 degrees and then up into the hundreds. Way back then, there weren't a lot of trees. The rides were out in the open, and it was on black asphalt. It would get so hot that as you watch people walking through the amusement park, that if it were over 100 degrees, you'd see people actually fall through the asphalt where there was a little bit of a ledge between the sand underneath and the asphalt that they poured, and they'd actually fall maybe a foot down uh, and freak people out, but it was hot. Now, it was so hot that even Lagoon handed out salt pills to their employees to help them not faint. We always had to say, have fun. This cracked me up as you watched all the other employees as person after person filed through and the employee would say, have fun. Well, it'd start out, have fun, and eventually after a couple of hours, you'd hear everybody, have fun, have fun, have fun. It was like a dead fish. Nobody really meant have fun, but you had to say it. Now, one day, as I was getting my ride ready and the park opened up, I noticed that the Job Corps buses had pulled up. And what this meant is generally it was a lot of young men that were going to a school because they'd, you know, been a little bit too wild. And when they got to Lagoon, they were ready to have fun and they would flirt with every female they could find. Well, I noticed that there were two men, young men, coming over to ride this scrambler. And the guy walks up to me and, hey, baby, how you doing? And I just smiled and said, have fun, as he walked in to my ride. Now, on the scrambler, it had several little bucket uh, compartments that up to four people could sit in and the gate would close and lock. As I watched this guy, he was running around the ride and then he yells, hey, look at me. And he put his hand on the back of the scrambler ride and he jumped up and he slid in and he's like showing off for me. Well, I sort of laugh a little bit and then all of a sudden he's like totally freaking out. He's screaming and he jumps out of the thing and he's running around in circles and he's like, wah, wah, wah. and I'm like, what is wrong with him? And he's just going ballistic and he's running to me and he's yelling, where's the hose? Where's the hose? Where's the hose? And as he got closer, I saw what it was that was making him so sick. Someone had thrown up in the ride and not said anything. And because he didn't open it up and look and jumped up from behind, he'd slid down and all that stuff was attached. I started getting sick. I have the weakest stomach. Even thinking about it this day, it was Chinese of all things. Well, all I could do was point at the side of my ride there was a water faucet that we could connect hoses to 
uh, but there were no hoses there. And so he ran over and he's like laying down in the ground and he's rolling in the water trying to get all the pieces off. It was so disgusting. And everybody was just hooting and laughing. It was horrible. I felt so bad for him. He finally got up completely wet. Most of the items were no longer attached. And he took off as quick as he could. He didn't come around that ride. I never saw hide nor hair of him ever again. Now, how do you clean up a ride? Here's the secret. You go get your little bucket and you fill it up with water. Take it over to the ride. Pour it in. Watch all the pieces flow down and out through the grates on the bottom. And then you turn the ride up and just let it flip off. Lesson learned, if you're going to go to an amusement park, make sure you enter the right way. Jumping in from behind could be a real shocker.